Okay, so time to start some uh, focus on pathology. Oh, I need to stand still. Uh, my name is Elin Shinbei, and I work as a senior product manager for Sectra's digital pathology solution. Uh, and I've been working with this product since Sectra chose to uh, move this area from research into uh, commercial product. And I plan to describe some what is digital pathology at Sectra, but also give you a brief introduction to the field of pathology, because I assume that some of you, to some of you, this is a fairly new area. Uh, we have Dr. Anna Bowden here, who is uh, going to present pathology from a pathologist's perspective uh, as well. So that will come later. But first, what is pathology? Well, pathology is that uh, you look visually at tissues or cells to determine if there is disease or not. And if you make it easy, you can say that while radiology kind of can give an indication of if there is disease or not, uh, the pathologist is a gold standard for setting the diagnosis. And samples come into the pathology department from all, uh, everywhere in the care chain, from primary, uh, primary care or surgery departments, for example. And it's everything from a small birthmark or a cervix cancer screening to a full organ uh, removal. Uh, they come into jars, simply to the pathology department, uh, and the examination of the case starts with a visual examination of the full tissue, which is what you see, not there, but on, uh, on the second image from, from the left. Uh, you take photos, you look at the, at the tissue, and you feel it, and etc. And you start, you start to describe it. The tissue will go through a long lab process. If you haven't been to a pathology department and get a chance, I'd suggest you, you do that. It's very fascinating. Uh, it goes through a lab process and the tissue will end up in paraffin blocks, small paraffin blocks, which is what you see on the third image. And these are rock hard. And they allow uh, the lab personnel to cut very thin sections of the tissue, about four thousandths of a millimeter, which are then put onto glass lights um, and stained for visualization. So what you see on, on the right, uh, on the upper row, is a piece of tissue, about four thousandths of a millimeter, thinner than the, the red blood cells, um, and it's visualized for, uh, or it's stained for visualization. So the pathologists will look at the structure, they will look at uh, very specific uh, characteristics of the tissue and determine not only if there is, for example, cancer or not, they can say what type of cancer, uh, uh, where does it originate from, and together with radiology and other specialists give a prognosis of the disease and determine what type of treatment should you get. So the, the old and still probably most common way to, to look at these uh, images or, or it's to look at the glass slide in a microscope. But we are moving more and more into digital pathology. And I will give you some reasons for, for why departments are going digital, and I'm sure that Anna can give you uh, details on why, why this happened in Linköping. Uh, so if we look at Sweden as an example, we have about, I think, 200 pathologists in the whole country. So there is a lack of pathologists. And if we have 200 in the country, you can imagine that for a small hospital, it's almost impossible to have a specialist in every organ field. So you need to collaborate. You need to get access to subspecialists from other hospitals within, uh, within your county or uh, within the, in the country or outside the country. So you need to collaborate a lot. Obviously, a glass slide is tied to a physical location. So if you need to send the case out for uh, secondary consultations, this can e the, it always add days uh, and in many cases weeks uh, to get a second opinion from someone else. So compensating for the lack of pathologists and getting easy access to people outside your own organization is very, very uh, important and an important driver for digitalization. Uh, having a flexible workplace is another one. We had an example of um, a pathologist in Linköping who spent his last year sitting at home uh, in Kalmar, uh, reviewing only digital cases. Uh, instead of retiring, he could sit at home uh, for another year and work digitally. Uh, going digital, you can have a more efficient workflow. Obviously, when you working uh, with papers and glass slides, you need to take care of all the logistics with pairing up the patient information with the glass slide. Uh, Going digital, you can leave all this to the computer. Uh, this means also increased patient safety. I mean, the human brain is not the best at organizing things, so there are human errors being made, uh, pairing up the wrong patient, with, uh, et cetera, with the, with the images. 
Another important uh, factor is that when you, go, when you work uh, with the glass slides, after a while, the glass slides will go down to an archive, and that's where your prior exams uh, are available. When you work digitally, all images are uh, accessible at the same time uh, in the same place. So you can open up priors uh, as fast as your current examination, uh, in many cases giving a better uh, quality in your, in, your, uh, in your review because you have access to the history. I already mentioned efficient uh, sharing, uh, access to specialists. We also see that it's possible to be a specialist even if, you're at, if you are situated at a smaller hospital, because at this hospital you can get access to outside cases, uh, keeping your competence uh, in, the in rare uh, findings. Um, working digitally, you can have access to digital tools. You will hear, hear more about image analysis and machine learning from class late run. But there are a lot of uh, tedious tasks that you need to do as a pathologist uh, and you need, to, you need to get it right. You need to count the cells, you need to round the per count the percentage of things. This can be, in some cases, better done by the computer and at least it can be done with a, a higher precision and higher repro reproducibility. Um, we at Sectra, I mean, you've heard Marie uh, talk about that we're, we're focusing on enterprise imaging. And this means that also as a pathologist, you will have access to not only pathology images, but also to radiology, for example. Uh, so looking into how we can benefit, how we can make that a benefit to the end user, how the radiologist, pathologist can benefit of having the full patient image history in one place. Uh, that is something that we look into and that's uh, for some sites also a driver for, uh, for digitization. Looking at the market, we have about uh, 30 pathology departments uh, today. I would say about half of them are uh, digital, at least to some extent. Almost, I would, I would think that all of them has a scanner at least. Uh, the US is definitely the biggest market. Uh, I read somewhere that they have half of the world's population of pathologists. Uh, looking globally, there are about 30,000 pathology departments. And looking at, at the market, uh, from, a, from a vendor perspective, we have uh, the scanner vendors, we have the PAX vendors, uh, VNA vendors and image analysis. And we are, uh, for us it's very important to be a collaborator with the different scanner vendors, for example, uh, also VNA vendors and image analysis. We want to be the neutral platform in the middle. Uh, at Sectra, pathology started as a research project. This is a photo from one of the early workshops we had in uh, DigiPath, as it was called, a project uh, led from here at CMIV. Uh, Sectra was an industry partner with no knowledge of digitizing medical IT uh, with, a, with a mission to create a prototype of the pathologist workstation, the end product. Partly is what you see at the demo uh, showing pathology. Part of this project were also half of Sweden's county councils, half of the, de uh, of the pathology departments in Sweden. We work together with the secretaries, technicians, pathologists, IT departments, and together we learned what digital pathology is for real. When you go fully digital in a diagnostic setting, what, what do you want from digital pathology? Don't look at the limitations that we have today. When you, when, when you go digital, what do you want? Uh, the, products was the project was very successful. Sectra decided to go into to this uh, also from the commercial side, and that's when we decided to make this uh, as part of our uh, enterprise imaging solution. So what does this mean uh, from the end user? I mean, this is the view you can have as a, uh, as a physician today, if you sit in an enterprise solution from Sectra. On the left, you see uh, zoomed in on a, a breast tumor in a mammogram. In the middle, you see the cutout tumor, the actual tissue piece. Uh, and on the right, you see the, the uh, microscopic image, the, the very thin section showing, showing the tumor. So as an end user, you have access to all of this in one and the same application. Hopefully giving better quality in the review and also saving time compared to having to log into different systems to reach this. And what we want to do uh, in pathology, we focus on the primary diagnostic process. That's our core focus. It should, we should build an efficient workstation for the pathologist. We support also secondary consultation, telepathology, uh, teaching, research, etc. But to have an efficient workstation for the, for the pathologist, for the daily review, that's, that's uh, the core. Uh, the full patient uh, imaging history should be available. 
uh, either from within our solution or via standard integration to, for example, another radiology packs. Uh, and any, any tool that you want to use, being a third-party image analysis solution, for example, you should be able to reach it from within IDS7, from our workstation, uh, not having to jump into other applications uh, unless uh, extremely necessary. Uh, when you look at digital pathology, it's easy to just see what you see, uh, the visible needs. Have digital pathology are digital images, and that is of course true. You need to have a digital, images, a digital image to work digitally. But there are a lot of stuff that are below the surface and that are key to have something that works for your, um, for your daily work. I mean, it needs to be stable. You need to access, be able to access the images from wherever you are at any time on whatever platform. You need to have a proper uh, support solution. I mean, if it goes down, if you're working from home and the system goes down, then obviously you cannot work. It needs to be up all the time. You need to be able to reach support to help you in case something happens. Uh, you need to have a proper workflow, for example. Uh, Anna will <laughs> talk later on. I just want to mention that Lean Shipping is definitely one of our key references. Uh, They've been using our solution already since it was a prototype. So we've been iterating the solution uh, in the beginning, like overnight. They got, could get a new version overnight. And now they're uh, still one of the customers that we uh, test our ideas with the closest. Uh, and, uh, another one is Utrecht. Uh, this is Professor Paul van Diest, who is an uh, um, early adopter of digital pathology. They've been scanning since 2010 everything. And this is, it may not say much, but a lot of th sites, they, they still haven't started. So since 2010, they, uh, they've been scanning everything in Utrecht, which is impressive. Uh, so these two sites were, they use it for primary diagnostics. This is, uh, I understand, a bit uh, messy slide, but what this shows is a national platform for telepathology in the whole of the Netherlands. This is a platform that Secra, Secra has. What you see on the left is Lab A, that wants to share images with lab B on the right. Working analog, they would need to send the glass slide uh, to lab B. What they can now do is that they can upload the images from lab A to our cloud solution that we have in the, Nether in the Netherlands. Patient information goes in the gray area, so separated from the images for security reasons. But we have this Pi platform, as it's called, the cloud, where all labs in the Netherlands, they are about, about uh, 45 to 50, are able to connect to share cases for panels where they discuss with their peers, for uh, revisions when a patient moves from one hospital to another, uh, or for secondary consultations. So this is already available uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, final reference, another use case. We have the primary diagnostics, we have the uh, consultations. The whole of Australia and New Zealand are using a cloud packs from, uh, from Secra for quality assurance. That's another thing. You want to assure that everybody uh, keeps up the quality in, in the labs. Everybody in Australia and New Zealand have access to images in this, uh, in this uh, cloud installation uh, where they can review images from, uh, uh, from the quality assurance organ uh, and ensure that they keep the quality. If they don't, then they will get feedback on, on this and hopefully improve. <laughs>